I don't follow. Don't tell me you haven't heard that kind of cliché banter before. What? He's good at sport and work? And he's good-looking? Don't tell me he's nice as well, or I'll really hate him. That's how real people in the real world talk, Ned, and you must know it. But I was nice. Nice is a heap word. You pile up enough nice actions, and you think that makes you a whole heap of nice? What were you really? What did you do? It is your actions that define you, not your qualities. I did nothing. Your inactions, then. You're saying some people hated me. Not hated, necessarily. It might be worth separating a number of these salient facts of yours. Let's forget the big one, your arrival here, and concentrate on the initiating fact. Let us suppose the dope was planted on you to disgrace you. Now, who might benefit from that? No one. How could anybody benefit from such a stupid thing? It would just upset those who loved me, that's all. Ah, well, maybe that was the very benefit sought. But perhaps, too, there was a more tangible advantage for someone. Captain of school, captain of cricket, and in love with a beautiful girl. There are plenty of hot youths who might covet any one or all three of those things to distraction. Who would become captain of school, for example, if you were expelled for the possession of drugs? Well, how can I know that? You must have some idea. Well, Ashley Barson Garland, probably. Ashley Barson Garland. Tell me about him. Everything you can think of. Talk in numbers, not in heaps. So Ned told Babe all about Ashley, concluding his description with, But he liked me, I'm sure of it, which sounded a little lame, even to his own ears. You don't think he suspected that you had looked through those five private pages of his innermost thoughts? I was incredibly careful not to show it. No, he couldn't possibly have known. Oh, Ned, poor Ned, think back on yourself. Think back on the pretty, smiling lad you were. How much did you know, then? How well were you able to hide anything? What guile did you possess? Don't you see that a sophisticated, prickly, bitter, and self-aware creature like this self-styled Barson Garland could have read you more easily than you read his diary? Snobs see social slights wherever they go, and frauds can read exposure in every glance. Even if he did not know, can you not believe that he might have suspected? Ned chewed his bottom lip in irritation. All right, but even if he did, why would he hate me? Use your imagination. I thought you told me to examine everything dispassionately. If I use imagination, I can dream up anything. What help is that? Don't confuse imagination with fantasy. Imagination is the ability to project yourself into the mind of others. It is the most hard-headed and clear-eyed faculty we have. If you use your imagination, you can see that from Ashley's point of view, you were every single thing that he was not. My own instinct, I must tell you, is that he was also in love with you, but unable to see it. Oh, for God's sake! Think back what you read, masturbating with all that fury into the boater he kept. I won't labour the point, it's just a theory. That's all any of this is, just theory. Then why does it upset you so much? It doesn't upset me. Ned's knee began to bounce up and down, a thing that had not happened for a long time. He stopped himself. All right, perhaps it does. Because it's so useless. Because it doesn't get us anywhere. It upsets you because it is not useless. Because it might get us closer to the truth. The truth that others may not have seen you as you believed they did. Maybe they saw you as arrogant, thoughtless, obnoxious and vain as so self-assured that even your politeness and charm were like daggers in their poor, fucked-up adolescent hearts. But you're a grown man now, and you should be able to see all that without hurting yourself. Well, even so, said Ned, irritably, you can't tell me that Ashley Barson Garland would go so far as getting hold of drugs deliberately to have me thrown out of school. He didn't know the first thing about... Cade! Ned brought his fist down on the table, crushing the paper doubling cube. "'Oh, Jesus! Rufus Cade!' "'Never mind that,' said Babe, as Ned tried to reassemble the cube. "'Rufus Cade, that's not a name you've mentioned before. Oh, "'He wasn't anyone. I did drop him from the first eleven, but that's ridiculous. "'No one, I mean, no one could be so vindictive and petty-minded as to... "'He smoked cannabis, though. I do know that all the time. "'Well, now, suddenly we have two boys with motives, however trivial.' and one of them even has access to what we might call the murder weapon.'